4.5. Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Round Beer Review. As Rhino, you have Colgate, and we have another beer that Colgate's buddy Aaron brought over for him. This is Plaid to the Bone. So it is a Heather Ale. So, you know, we're playing on the fact that Heather is from Scotland and Tartans are Scottish. Uh, not as much plaid on it as I thought. You are right, though. I didn't see that in the picture I, that you posted. It's pretty see light. It now. Yeah. The background is all plaid. But I would have thought instead of having like a dragon on a shield, you would have, you know, just straight just out tartan. Fair enough. But yeah, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Heather Ale. The only other Heather Ale I've had is the one from the historic years of Scotland. The Frosch. What about the um, one from Highlander? Did you not have that? Their Heather Ale? No, yeah. I did not. Oh, really? Fuck. I had a couple bottles of it. I don't know if I was doing the review at that time. For shame. It, uh, <laughs> it really wasn't that bad. They had it at Springlicious and then it was in the LCBO for a bit. I didn't go to Springlicious. You missed a very wet night. It was pouring. I think they have the Highlanders got some smoked porter coming out soon. Oh, somebody's calling us. It's probably my Luckily, mom. Luckily, my mom is upstairs. <laughs> my mom, my wife. Fuck. Nice, uh, nice haze to it. Yeah. Nice golden color. Maybe she'll get up and answer it at some point. Pretty nice, nice color. white head. Head sticking around. Yeah. Doesn't smell very good. No, I don't know if that's what Heather smells like or what. Well, there's a little bit of floral to it, and um, now remember how I was telling you that I get picaroons usually when they're just about turning. Right. It has that turning scent to it uh, that smells a lot like the uh, picaroons blonde smelt like when I had it. Just kind of sourish and like souring milk. I guess it's, it's almost like a foresty, herby, piney scent, maybe. We actually have heather growing at my house. I should really bring some over sometime. I'm not so excited. You have heather about growing at your house. Yeah, well, my mom's name is Heather, my brother's wife's name is Heather, and that's why I didn't want to make any comments about how Heather smells. <laughs> Fuck. Cheers. I hope they don't see this. Well, nobody watches this. It's true. Just for our own, mostly our own records as we share strange beers. Nobody wants to watch a fat albino. Maybe a guy with perfect teeth, but not a fat <laughs> Who's um, that guy? It's not very floral. Kind of earthy. There's not much flavor to it at all. No. A little weird, uh, a little weird kind of bittersweet front. Not a bad beer, but nothing special. I mean, for a Heather Ale, I would rather have the one from the, uh, from the gift pack. That was a Beers of Scotland one you were saying? Mm -hmm. I've had that before, too. I'm not sure how I feel about this. It actually has almost a berry taste in the background. Hit it. I feel like it's almost a bit more carbonated than I want it to be. Well, it's micro microcarbonated. I mean, it's really small bubbles, but I know what you're talking about. It's like the mouth feels kind of weird. Yeah. Not overly impressed. The porter I had by these guys was like leaps and bounds better. I'm not overly impressed either, but it's not a bad beer. It's no. just not a good beer. Well, I shouldn't say it's not a good beer. It's not a beer I'd want to drink. If my buddy Aaron were to continue to bring these back, I'd still drink them. But I wouldn't go out and seek this one out. No, again, a little sweetness, a little floral, a little berry taste on the background. And a little earthy and piney, but um, just everything's subdued. Yeah, you know, it, it's still worth, like ever, almost every beer, it's still worth trying once. It could end up being your thing, like who knows, but for me personally, 
Yeah. Not your thing? No, I wouldn't want to drink it all the time. It makes two of us that this isn't my thing either. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's it's drinkable though. I'll give it a 5.75. I have no problem drinking it, but I don't care to. There's better stuff out there for me. Yeah, I'm, I was going to say 5.5. Five. Um, happy I got to try it, though. So, thanks for bringing this for us. But, uh, yeah, not over the moon for it. Well, look at it run down the butt plug. <laughs> We're going to switch glasses for the next review. Oh, yeah, look at that. Joe probably got that for you just to watch that. Oh, oh yeah. Getting caught on each of the little dimples. Mm. He's going to show guys. up with one for me. <laughs> <laughs> Guy. Oh, shit. 